Hey guys, I wanted to make this video in response to a question that I received about IT and biomed and how they mix. Because there's a lot of people, uh, I go to these trade shows and stuff and I talk to them and a lot of these people have experience with IT and they're wondering how it can apply to biomed. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people will probably disagree with me, but I, I think that they're going to be wrong, seriously wrong. There is a whole genre of biomeds that is going to happen, and we're going to call them uh, medical networking specialists or, you know, PACS administrators. There's so many avenues that you can go down, but I would say it's medical networking specialists. And basically, it's going to be the your liaison between biomed and IT. And what they're going to do is you're going to, they're going to process the AE tiles, the IP requests, the like the nodes, which are like your Cerner CE modules, programming them and configuring them to certain medical devices when you make new purchases on medical devices or when you are integrating a new modality with your medical network. So it's this whole genre and some places already have medical networking specialists as part of their biomed team and it's, it must be fantastic. But guys, I'm telling you as a matter of fact, it will happen. We are going to have IT integration with biomed and you know, just look at cybersecurity. It's such a key point. The FDA just a few weeks ago released their paper on, you know, what we should be concentrating on for cybersecurity as, as, clinicians or as biomeds and uh, it's it's something that we're gonna have to face the facts on guys turning a wrench those days are gone you know we have to be more versatile and you guys that have um, degrees in IT you guys that are chasing uh, cyber security chasing those a plus certifications I think all junior biomeds should chase uh, um, A plus certification, guaranteed. No, whether you go into the other uh, CompTIA type certifications, that's up to you. But I honestly think that junior biomed should really focus on getting like A plus certifications because they are going to be the ones that are going to interface with these networks so much more. I mean, just think how much stuff we touch every single day that is going to be interfaced in some way. I mean, look at the Wi-Fi for like ECG, look at um, EEG systems and all the crazy technology they're coming out with. I mean, there's so many avenues. Uh, look at RFID and real-time uh, tracking systems. That is one of those things that biomeds are starting to do. We're starting to do uh, RFID on you know all sorts of stuff, not just medical equipment, sometimes expensive consumables and stuff. And these are types of contracts that maybe Biomed it should be willing to train on and take over because we have to prove our value to the hospital. Look how many hospitals are contracting out Biomed. It's a big fact. Guys, you can tell I'm, I'm in a hotel right now because I'm currently across the country at some place and, you know, it's maybe one of these areas that they might have to face contracted Biomed it's entirely possible because you have to prove your value and it's unfortunate you could have 20 30 40 years of reliable service and now you know some third party comes in and they start touting how you know they can incorporate food service along with biomed and laundry services and now you know people all they see is dollar signs and going yeah until they get the bills later down the road but uh, guys I'm telling you right now Contracted biomed is something that we have to all be weary of. So we should be supporting and endorsing these new avenues for new biomeds and uh, expanding our capabilities. And one of those things that we need to do is going to have to be IT. It's We are not doing IT's job. There's so many things that biomeds need to do better on when it comes to information technology with medical devices. So... You heard it here first, guys. Medical networking specialists, they are going to be the thing. It's going to be that niche job that's going to pay $100,000 plus a year. It's going to be like an imaging specialist. You know, you're going to have your imaging specialist, your, your medical networking specialist working in tandem. 
you know, when it comes to troubleshooting some of these, sometimes remotely, a lot of these systems are starting to do remote diagnostics and stuff. So you're going to see it. It's going to happen. All right. So you guys that are asking me these questions all the time about, you know, hey, you've got this IT degree, you want to get into biomed, do you think it'll transition? Yes, absolutely. You guys are so far ahead of the, the crowd on this. I mean, the thing is, there's going to be all these jobs and work on both skill sets. You still work on your general biomed stuff, not like infusion pumps and whatnot. I'm talking about still profess at your... Um, your electronics principles, profess at your anatomy, physiology, because those things will always carry you forward. Definitely profess on um, things like regulations, because a medical networking specialist is going to move into that area where you're going to be, you know, the security system for your medical network, and medical networks are being attacked all the time. So you're going to be that guy that's going to have to constantly uh, be pushing out patch updates to medical networks. Those uh, systems like order, you're going to be the guy that's going to be constantly uh, observing the network to see what's touching your network, you know, and, you know, making sure that none of these devices have recalls and stuff like that. You're going to be that guy and it's going to be such an awesome job. You guys that have medical uh, degrees, get some computer experience and you can have that job. I'm telling you, medical networking specialist. Some hospitals already have them. They're ahead of the curve. And if anything, a medical networking specialist can handle a couple different facilities if they're smaller or medium-sized facilities. I mean, it doesn't have to have one at every building, but I'm telling you right now, once you get one in-house or once you work with a team that has one of these guys, you're gonna see that there's no going back. There's no going back. They can just do stuff so much better than the rest of us because if you're a biomed 95% of the time and now you have to pull some IT duty, you know, you got the different hats you have to wear, you can never do it as good as the guy that's always doing it, All right? So you're always chasing your tail and your efficiency goes right, right down the tube. So you guys that have degrees or you got computer backgrounds, certifications, please get your certifications medical networking specialist. It's going to happen and it's going to be a big thing. I bet over the next five years, it's going to be the one thing that we're going to hear the most about. So go for it guys. Computer experience, apply for those biomed jobs. Absolutely. Good luck guys.